Now here I'm going to make some fudge for Christmas, but it's going to be slightly different. Anyway, first of all, I've got the butter here. Um, I'm going to just cut this in half, 115 grams, which is four ounce. And then this demerara sugar, there's 450 grams in there. And then 150 ml milk, I've got semi skim milk in there. A full tin of this carnation milk, Tell you what's in there, 397 grams. I've got this spray stuff, I'm going to just spray this, and then I'm going to put this grease proof paper in. I've also got a jar of uh, ice cubes here that I'm going to put some water in, and I'll show you why in a little while. Right, I'm just going to spray this. Done. And I've just lined this with that greaseproof paper, just quite roughly. Now I'm going to put all these in the pan. Right, I've put the milk in. I'm going to put this bowl of butter in. Just going to pour this lot in. That's most of it in anyway. And scrape out the rest with a spoon. Now I'm just going to push that aside because I want that to melt. I'm going to put this demerara sugar in the middle. It's a fairly wide base pan is this and I want to keep the sugar away from the edge. Now, just put that on. I want it in a low heat setting. That's as low as I can go with that. Now, I just want to stir this gently and just simmer it until it's all melted, keeping that sugar away from the edge. And then, once it's all melted and simmered, then I'm going to stir it for 10 minutes, boil it for 10 minutes. Now I've put some water in here with the ice cubes and I'm going to pour a bit of this mixture into there and let it set. It should turn into a little squatchy little ball. And then when we're ready, here we are. So what I'm going to make, popping candy fudge. Well I've got a spoon in here. I'm going to use this spatula so that I can, it's a non-stick spatula so that I can keep the sugar moving and I'm not missing any on the base. You can see there the butter hasn't melted yet and if you can if you can hear that crystalline sugar in the bottom as you're moving it it hasn't melted so just keep going till it's melted. Just put that in the spoon in the bowl as you can see nearly melted so once it's melted I'll bring to the boil and then I'm going to simmer and stir at the same time for 10 to 15 minutes so just a correction I'm not going to boil it for 10 minutes I'm just going to bring it to the boil and then simmer and stir continuously for 10 to 15 minutes now it's completely melted sugar has and the butter. Can't hear or feel any graininess in the bottom. So so now I'm going to turn the heat up to full and bring to the boil and then simmer for 10 to 15 minutes. Now I've just brought it to the boil. Of course we've got the danger aspect here now. You don't want to get any of that on your hands. So I'm just going to boil that now. Simmer that for 10 to 15 minutes. I've turned the heat down. I just keep stirring now. And look at the clock. And 
I'll let you come back in 10 minutes. Now I've been stirring this on a simmering heat for about 10 minutes. So I'm just going to drop some in this ice cold water. And let's just see if it forms a bubble. It's like a soft lump it's supposed to form. Another stir round. Let's have a look. That's supposed to come together. Yeah, that's that's pretty near it, is that? See how that looks. Yep. Right, I've taken that off the heat. You're supposed to beat it up now for 10 minutes. So I'm just going to have to use this spatula because I can't find the beater. I've been beating this now for about seven minutes. It's just starting to turn a little bit kind of thicker, stickier. So in a minute I'm just going to pour it from there into there and I'm going to add some of my popping candy stuff. Right, I'm just going to pour some of this into there. There you go. Poured it in, sprinkled with popping candy on top and mixed it in. You might be able to hear it. So now I'm just going to pop that in the fridge and slice it into cubes tomorrow. And it's going to be a nice Christmas treat.